Hi, in this video we're going to do a real unboxing of this heater. So I just got this. It is a space heater and it is 1500 watts and it is for office and indoor use. So let's go ahead and open it up and test it out. So I've got some scissors here. And these are really nice heaters because, heaters like this I mean, because you can move them from room to room. And if you have a big house, um, you can heat a small space versus having to uh, heat the entire space. So here's the model number and everything, owner's manual. And I'm sure it's got all kinds of warnings, which it's always important to read the instructions. We're just gonna go ahead and test it. It's nicely packaged. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is nice looking. This looks pretty good. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is nice. It's kind of attractive for a heater. Do not cover, it says. Looks like it's got an off, a fan setting, and then three power levels. And then this is to adjust the heat. Yeah, simple, simple design and use. Let's go ahead and check out the extension cord to see how long it is. One of the things I like to see in heaters is an extension cord that is a suitable length. So let's see. Yeah, it's pretty long. I'm gonna back up so you can see that. Yeah, look at that. That's a pretty long extension cord, right? That's like, it's pretty epic. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in and mess around with it. So it should be pretty simple to use. I've reviewed multiple heaters and I'll be able to tell you what I think about this one compared to other ones. So right now it's off. Let's try the fan. Okay, so notice something right away. This is something that I assume would happen. So it's off. You turn on fan and the fan doesn't turn on. You have to actually move the thermostat. Um, that's normal, okay? There's no heat coming out now. That's just the fan. And for some reason, that's a common thing on, on these heaters. Even though it's fan, you still have to move the thermostat to get it to come on. I, I don't know why they're made that way. It must be something to do with the way it's made. I'm gonna turn it back on. This should have a safety feature, let's see. Yep, you saw that, it turns off. Let's see if we can find it. Mm, here it is. So watch this. If I press this button, it turns on. So this is the safety feature. This is very, very important. And I like that I can see it. Because look, it shuts off. So what is this for? Maybe you have pets, maybe you have kids, and some or someone knocks this over. Oh, no problem, it shuts off. So it's very, very important to make sure that whatever heater you buy has a safety feature. I think almost all of them do. I've reviewed some heaters that you can't see the safety feature. So I'm really happy that this one is in a place where I can see it. So it always makes me nervous if you can't see it. This is one. Should get some heat soon. It's getting warm. It's not hot. Okay, oh, it's getting warm. Wow. Wow, that's pretty hot. Let's just let it run there for a minute while we look at the instructions. Yeah, oh yeah, that's, that's really heating up. This is nice. I actually like the sound it makes too. It's got like some nice white noise. Talks about how you should read the instructions before using it, which is something I should have done. And here's the settings. So one is 700 watts. That's where we're at now. Two is 900 watts. Three is 1500 watts. Okay. Yeah. So you can set the thermostat to what you want. Like say I want it there. Okay. It says here, when the desired comfort level is reached, lower the temperature by, by turning the thermostat control counterclockwise until the heater stops operating. Okay. I'm doing it slowly. And then it says, the thermostat will automatically maintain the preset temperature level by turning the heat on and off. So it's, I, I guess it automatically turns back on again. Um, it says, it is normal for the heater to cycle on and off as it maintains the preset temperature. To prevent the heater from cycling, raise the temperature setting. So that's interesting. And I guess you just have to be patient. Um, a lot of heaters have this functionality. So basically, okay, it's on. You say, okay, no, it's a little too hot. So you turn it off, almost, almost, almost. It's getting really warm in here. This thing is powerful. And it's supposed to turn back on after a certain amount of time. Now, I don't know how long it takes, um, but yeah, I usually just set it on high and go with that. 
But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Works great. Let's try a different uh, setting there. Let's try two. Yeah, this, this is really powerful. This is, I would say, more powerful than some of the other ones I've looked at. Like, it's really, it's really getting hot in here. Like, and then this is three. Let's go to the max. Yeah, wow. Yeah, this, this, this can keep you warm. <laughs> so, so, if you want to know whether it works, it does. It's, it's, it's actually very hot. Um, so, I think if you're looking for a heater that actually works and heats up quickly, this one's pretty good. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.